In the beauty field house, orphans live with blissful and tranquil lives under the guidance of Isabella, who the children are classified mother every one of the children see each other as brother, they likewise have identified numbers tattooed on their necks, Isabella makes sure to give them severe instruction, including classes on a wide range of themes, the most splendid students in the class are Emma, Norman, and Ray, the orphanage is encircled by a wonderful meadow where they can play freely, but the main rule is that they should never cross the fence, the children are bound to leave the orphanage to join a family when they're okay, this evening it's Connie's adoption night, and she leaves the orphanage subsequent to saying farewell to everybody, Emma and Norman keep thinking about whether Connie will keep in touch with them because the kids that leave generally guarantee they will yet right up to the present day they haven't gotten a solitary letter, at that point they find Connie's favorite bunny, which is stunning because she doesn't go away without it, Ray brings up that the lights at the door are still on, so have the opportunity to return the toy assuming they hustle, Emma and Norman make courage and cross the gate, where they track down the road empty except of a truck, the children look inside and are shocked when they find Connie's body with a flower through her chest, before they can handle this, they hear somebody drawing nearer, so they rush to hide under the truck, then the children watch in horror how a few giant monsters stop before the vehicle and placed Connie in a container while discuss about the reality this specific farm has the best human meat quality, which is typically saved for tip-top evil spirits, at that point Isabella shows up what's more, vows to bring the most noteworthy scoring youngsters next time, unexpectedly the monsters smell something also, start checking around for spies, however when they look under the truck, they just find the bunny, they give it to Isabella, who quickly gets dubious, meantime Norman and Emma are running back through the meadow, yet Emma needs to stop cry since she can't stand anymore, she can't accept mother can be evil and that her orphanage is a human farm, this explains of the tattoos what's more, the absence of letters, Norman solaces her and says they should to take off, yet Emma will only acknowledge whether they bring every other person as well, the following day, Emma and Norman discuss their options, Norman figures they ought to make a legitimate break plan yet not tell the others until they're finished, so they begin by examining the area, sadly when they cross the fence, they find there's a tall wall encompassing the meadow, it's beyond their possibilities for them to jump across it, so they agree they'll need to get a rope and comes back later, meantime the children stop their game since one girl is missing, Isabella rapidly takes out her watch and strolls into the forest, just to come back in seconds with the girl in her arms, this causes Emma and Norma to understand that Isabella must have put a tracker on them when they were infants, and she can tell where every one of the children are utilizing her watch, if they want to get away, they'll have to take care of that first, the following day, Emma and Norman hide some rope in a tree and get caught by Ray, Norman quickly tells him everything, and shockingly, Ray experiences no difficulty accepting it, as a matter of fact he wants to help, a short time later they do research in the library and find a lot of books have an owl stamp with a circle addressing Morse code, deciphering it uncovers somebody named Minerva knows truth as well and urges them to run, later at night, Isabella introduces the children with her new colleague Crona, this makes the children stress because with another guardian to sets of eyes in the house, it'll be more difficult for them to get away, when the women are separated from everyone else, Isabella gives Crona the children's profile to memorize and uncover she realizes the children are aware of the truth, but she won't allow them to get away. The following day, the triplet organized a game of tag as a subtle method to teach other youngsters, instructions them to get away for their future escape, anyway Crona hears them and joins the game, figuring out how to each every youngster with the exception of Norman, later the threesome examines what is happening, What's more, Norman reaches the decision there should be a spy the children that is telling Isabella about everything they might do, it must be somebody more seasoned, so to find out, they choose to come clean with Don and Gilda the truth to test their theory, Don has difficulty trusting it and frustratedly hits Ray, yet Gilda rapidly accepts because she realizes Emma loves mother too much to lie about this, then Norman tells Don and Gilda various areas of the rope they stole, and in the middle of the night, a puzzling hand pushes a note under Isabella's door telling her about it the following morning the children affirm Isabella removed the rope, Emma and Ray are happy the trick worked, however, Norman shocks them when he uncovers that the trap had been for Ray, who had the real rope area while Norman gave the other two a phony one, Ray at long last concedes that he found the truth sometime in the past and defied Isabella about it, who offered a deal, on the off chance that he spied for her, she would defer his adoption, Ray acknowledged because he realized he was unable to escape alone, yet he tried constantly to find another solution, he was the one that left the bunny to make his companions figure out the truth as well, Emma and Norman proclaim they still trust him and that Ray will function as a twice spy for the group, subsequently, they hide the ropes in Ray's mystery hole in the floor, where he likewise keeps gas jars and the gadget he made to kill the trackers, later Ray advises Isabella that the children will attempt to poison her food, which is obviously false to keep her occupied, Isabella is grateful, yet she actually declares Ray will be adopted in a couple of months, the following day, the five children go to the wall to test the rope just for Crona find them in the act, 
meanwhile instead telling Isabella, she says she wants to help, showing them her chip scar, in the event that any children get away, her chip will shock her, meaning she has no opportunity either. She used to be an orphanage kid as well, and presently she needs to eliminate Isabella and become the new mother to have a superior life, so she will assist the children with accomplishing it. When sun sets, the children go to Krona's room, where she tells them the story of what truly is going on in the rest of the world. More than 1000 years then, humanity was at war with the demon groups, after heaps of murderous fighting, the two sides chose to make a deal called the promise under which they consented to live in their own different universes. The demon vowed not to annoy the people any longer, but rather in return, the people brought to the table a few children for them to eat, that is the reason a few people are currently living in the demon world overseeing human reproducing farm under the disguise of orphanage. The children are raised with well-rounded schooling since eating intelligent people keeps the demons from transforming into mindless monsters. The children ask about the tracker, and Krona affirms it's on their ears. When the kids don't show stress over it, she understands they figured out how to impede them, and vows to find out how. The following day while the children are outside, Krona starts checking out the children's room for the tracker blocker, Gilda sees her through the window and cautions the others, so they move the blocker into a pig plushie that Krona previously checked, at last Krona sees as the opening and gets dubious to see it empty, so she tries checking the room once more. When Krona's about to open the piggy, she's unexpectedly hindered by Isabella, who brings a letter informing Krona she's been transferred one more plant to be mother there. Krona is dubious, so prior to leaving, she leaves an exceptional pen for the children. When she comes to the door, Krona meets the boss, known as Grandmother, and informs her regarding what's happening at the orphanage. Anyway Grandmother tells her Isabella is awesome at the job and she won't allow the children to get away. Then Grandmother permits the demon to kill Krona, in while Emma and Norman go to the wall while Ray distract Isabella. Anyway Isabella isn't deceived and says she was the one to get rid of Krona prior to lock Ray in a room, while Don assists Ray with emerging. Isabella goes to the wall and gives Norman and Emma a speech about how she's given them all that they required and that they shouldn't avoid the inescapable. Unexpectedly Emma handles Isabella so Norman can get away. However Isabella effectively overwhelms her and breaks Emma's leg to stop her. Norman won't leave without her, and Isabella utilizes the opportunity to report Norman has been adopted, so tomorrow it's his last day in the orphanage. When dusks, the children assemble to discuss how to help Norman, yet, Norman tells them not to irritate because he'll joyfully be a sacrifice if that implies securing the others. Ray utilizes the chance to explain he knows truth because dissimilar to the typical child, he hasn't failed to remember his first many years. Since he left his mother's womb, he saw the headquarters command, the demon, and bunches of different children. A while later Norman prepares his things what's more, tracks down the baffling pen in his cabinet. The following day, Norman climbed the wall with the rope to accumulate some information, but he's crushed to see the meadow is encircled by a cliff. He gets back to the orphanage and provides his companions with a drawing of the area, telling them to find a bridge to cross the gap. At night, Norman expresses farewell to every one of the children, making Emma have a breakdown when she neglects to stop him. Isabella then takes Norman through the gate. What's more, the child is shocked to see a man named Peter rather than a monster. Peter explain he lead the activity to feed the monster and offers every one of the gritty information, yet Norman doesn't permit him to scare him since he's content with his choice. At that point a demon shows up and kills him. For the next months, a discouraged Emma can do nothing however recuperate from her physical issue, and she gets upset when Isabella tells her she'd like her to be the following mother. Since he can't do this by itself, Ray has lost all expectation too, and Isabella takes it as a victory. At last Ray's informed. He'll be adopted as well. So the night prior to his departure, Emma approaches him to explain that she has a plan. Anyway Ray as of now has his very own plan and starts to cover everything with juice to then light everything fire. As the flames assume control over the room, Emma shouts out and Isabella comes running, affirming that Ray's in the fire with her watch, she attempts to put the fire out with an extinguisher, yet it isn't sufficient, and when she pivots she finds Emma gone, it ends up this has been the plan from the beginning and Emma is presently taking off with the children, after Norman left, Emma found a note he left for certain plans to get away from in addition to the special pen, so she gave the note to Don and Gilda as they did the organizing with the children while Isabella watched out for Emma, who pretends to be discouraged, she was unable to tell Ray since Isabella had been watching him as well. What's more, this moment he's fine too since Emma utilized a knife to take off the tracker and tossed it in the fire. Every other person take off the chip similarly. Sadly they need to leave the truly young ones behind. However Emma vows to return for them later. When they come to the wall, they tossed a few ropes across the cliff and start sliding down utilizing holders to reach the opposite side securely. When everybody crosses, just Emma is left. However at that point Isabella shows up to stop her. Mother says she used to be naive too and had a boyfriend that got her pregnant, so she moreover, attempted to get away, however remaining on this wall and seeing the cliff caused her to realize there was no trust, her child died after he was conceived, 
and afterward Isabella endeavored to be the following mother and give the children have a decent life, killing them has forever been quite hard for her, and Emma is her favorite however Isabella takes steps to cut the rope in the event that Emma attempts to escape, anyway Emma doesn't trust her, calling attention to clearly Isabella taught them how to think ahead since she needed to see them grow up and presently she's glad for their escape, while Isabella denies it, Emma slides down the rope and Isabella raises her knife, yet she can't force herself to do it, as Isabella gladly watches the children run, she recalls when little Ray sang a tune he heard in the womb and make her to know he was the child she had evidently lost, a while later, the children start make their path through the wilderness, when some of them are excessively worn out or frightened to continue onward. Emma shows them the pen, which projects a picture of Minerva's owl symbol that will lead them securely to the city, meantime Isabella goes to see grandmother and Peter and takes full responsibility regarding all that occurred, so the leaders punish her by making a demon eat her at live the end, if you like this story, Please subscribe to the channel and like it to motivate me to bring you more stories like this.